Hello everyone, welcome to Sound and Melodies and uh, in this episode we're going to record some frame drums like here we have one and here we have another so frame drums also known as Dhyangru in Nepal somewhere Khaizari let's go to let's go to our software here we have Cubase setup and this is the same process for Cubase uh, earlier version of Cubase or any other major DAW in the market so I'm gonna add a track and here we can see audio inputs mic one so the mic that i'm using this microphone right here is connected to line seven but i've already configured that out so i'm going to say connected to bus stereo in and that what that means i'll just show in a moment here configuration i'm going to go mono because this is a, a mono i'll go mono in so i'm going to say mono and then audio outputs uh, stereo out and name I'll say Django one and like I said if I press F4 audio connections will open up and in the inputs there there are mic 7 and mic 8 so this is mic 7 and the one I'm speaking is uh, mic line 2 and 8 is just right over here in the corner which I'm not using at the moment um, and in the output there's just 1 and 2 in that I'm using so here we go Django track is set up now I'm gonna say go to right actually left uh, go to left and now we can monitor this yeah it shows the signal in there uh, you can't hear it at the moment that microphone because I'm using a different kind of routing to record everything and let's start recording so while recording um, samples what I do is usually press R record and uh, I'll give myself a metronome count or time in this sense um, let's go to studio more options and time display and this will also display the whatever is here selected selected here bars and beats will be shown here and if I press second it should also oh sorry it's it's different so I can cl right click here and say what I want to do or what I want to see at the moment bars and beats so I have a visual information of how I'm going and then I play something like this something like that after the sound there is a certain tail of the sound and I give the space to the tail as well for example that after sound that is there alrighty now we're ready to record our first samples in this instrument mm, everything is set up and I'm ready to go for uh, for this project I've, I have thought of recording um, different parts of the instrument for example uh, let's go to camera mode webcam mode there we go so for example I'm gonna play the center and the sound of the center is different than sound of somewhere around the rim and here it's different and here different and here different so it has different parts and uh, different points in which the sounds are it uh, it sounds different and similarly in the in the bigger frame drum also the case is same if I hit here and if I hit in the rim, the whole frame tends to vibrate if I hit in the rim more than if I did in the center. And hence the, the stretching of the, the sound body, sound envelope. Okay, we're ready to record. Start with this small Django instrument. And I can see that the level is so loud that it touches the peak and this is not a good sign because this is going to be too loud and I'm, I'm gonna hit even harder so the case would be to change the settings in this very microphone and somewhere around here behind the road would be the polar pattern and low cut and uh, volume so it's in the center in zero at the moment and I'm gonna say negative 10 and this will do minus 10 this will reduce the volume uh, input volume gain by 10 dB 10 decibel so I'm gonna now play this instrument and also record of course okay that much should be fine for one sample so this is Django forte 
and give it a name dangro forte one so i'm going to take another dangro and repeat the same process and i'm calling another dangro dangro forte two and i'll mute this and go and select another dangro that we have here and start playing actually start recording okay that much should be fine and next two tracks that i'm uh, going to do is dhyangro soft or dhyangro piano now we're going to record the soft part of the same instruments if we went to project and there's macros somewhere edit macros yes edit macros duplicate selected tracks without data it's not alt d alt d is the shortcut that i have um, i have uh, used i have created and now you can use your own shortcut but here you have duplicate selected tracks without data and i'm clicking that everything is copied except for the uh, except for the data for the events dangro piano 1 actually dangro 1 forte dangro 1 Piano, Tangro 2 Forte, and duplicating without data, Tangro 2 Piano. Alright, so let's go ahead and record here in Tangro Piano. So this is going to be soft recordings. That much should be enough and I'm gonna repeat the same process in our another set of dangro so that's uh, dangro soft so we have dangro one sorts of so soft and uh, a little hard beat now we're going to record some patterns of dangro how they are played and i'll say dangro one pattern one or let's say dangro one pattern a we're going to record another dangro with a pattern That is pattern one and we'll go pattern dangro one pattern b close that off and we'll record there we have pattern two and we'll go and record pattern three So we'll record pattern five, uh, sorry, pattern D. So one pattern more with, um, one set of more patterns with dangro two, pattern A. So dangro one, dangro one, dangro two, dangro two. Tangro one, it goes up here, and there you go. And let's record that dangro. And for the effect, and for the effect, we're going to use the bass to gather more bass. And something like that we're going to duplicate the track without data 
once more and say pattern B and we're recording again. And we will go with one more pattern and that'll be enough for us. I'll say go to Dangro 2 pattern C and I will turn that on for recording and let's go. And like that, oops, sorry. And like that, we have recorded a set of Dhangru instrument. Now we're going to make samples out of it. And it's very easy to do that in Cubase. To do that, actually, all you gotta do is open this and go to hit points. And now it's already selected something and all we want to do is say one by four because it'll come handy if there is more notes than the fourth counts and everything seems to be fine let's try the intensity yeah no problem so now create events so it's going to create more events for us of one particular instrument and this looks like this so it's caught right where it starts now what i'm gonna do is i'll go ahead and bring it to two and bring it to seven no problem bring it to 12 and bring it to 19 two more bring it to 24 bring it to 29 actually bring it to 20 right here and there's there's a sound that went on missing so like that we're almost done there so everything is in order and similarly let me repeat the same process one more time in this one so i'll click double click it and go to hit points and turn it on and select where i want my hit points to be it's good and after after that um create events yeah by closing it we can dive in directly to the sounds and drag and fix the places uh, fix their places sorry so it goes to 4 goes to 11 goes to 14 17 so we're doing a little bit of cleaning to make the audio sound better so the cleaning process requires a lot more attention than previously thought and here in the pattern nothing needs to be done because these are patterns so i'm going to skip that there now we have everything i'm going to go and say there i'm going to give it a little bit of fade in so that there won't be any problem oh my god didn't work hold on pull so i'll select all and zoom it all the way in again my god i lost control so zooming them all in and there a little bit of yeah fade in and a little bit of fade out this tiny tiny actually a fade out can be a little bit larger because then it'll have a beautiful coming down effect the envelope sounds good uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anyways, we'll, we'll remove the. No, we'll we'll keep it there. Now, exporting them is another part. So what I'll be doing is go to each track and increase its, um, uh, enable all of the channel strip, and go to mixer and actually copy them to each track so that the sample sounds as close to the original instrument as is intended now let me try and put voc no voc single recorder and assign it to cable input mme start and uh, and let me see if you can hear the sound 
there you go. So you can listen to this, uh, listen to the sound. So these are the instruments. Let's listen to it solo. There. So everything is in its place, and uh, click in the instrument and go one by one. So render in place, render settings, and everything fine. I don't want master uh, effects, but just complete signal path, and that will do. Also select. Thank you. I have got something in here. Oh, this is aloe vera juice. Okay. Oh, I'm not supposed to taste it and just. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. <laughs> so the files are ready and Tangaroo um, Forte. Again, it did the stereo out, but hey guys, no problem. At least we have the the sound as we wanted it to be, don't we? Yep. We have the sound. So this was actually Dangro Dangro One Forte. This was Dangro One Forte, right? So I'm gonna go to the project folder. So we have it here in my God, so much thing to do. There. We have our files, Dangro One, and it says uh, how many do we have? One two three four five six seven so seven files one two three four five six seven and if we see the dates are correct so we're gonna copy this and bring out and say dangro samples and this was dangro forte oops this was dangro forte actually dangro one forte okay now Similarly, we're going to repeat the same process in this as well. So everything is there, everything is ready. I'll say render in place, render settings. Now I'm gonna just say channel settings and see how it looks. And everything seems fine, just the channel settings and render. So there are 13 events, 13 parts, which it will be exporting one by one. So everything is there, I'll say mute and so we have three more tracks to do the same and that was piano uh, dhangro one piano so i'll go to the folder qs audio and dhangro one piano 1826 here copy dhangro samples paste and look at the file name and click here and click here dhangro one piano Dangro samples, Dangro one, right? So I'll make a folder and say Dangro one, so that all the files of Dangro one will go into this folder, and all the other files as well. We're going to just give a little bit of tuning in for them. For example, let's say there. So we're just giving it a tiny tiny tuning in. Up to there would be fine. Mute that. Up to there would be fine, actually. And let's go to quantize. Oh, oh, adapt to zoom there. And let's trim it a little bit. There we go. And at the end, also, I'm going to significantly remove the parts and trim after this trimming. I'll select actually this one as well I'll select all of them and go a little bit out so we have our samples and we have our playing styles and I'll click uh, I'll select all of the playing styles and actually let's listen to this one good this one Good. So all selected, right click, render in place, render with current settings, which means the settings that we have. <clears throat> oh my God, all of these were mute. Um, muted tracks don't render. So render in settings, all of the settings are selected and I'll go render. So when a track does not have more than one audio event, multiple tracks can be rendered at the same time like this. And we're done, we'll just select 
the selected parts oops and oh my god and bring it all down here and remove the ones that we don't need and actually we don't need any of these now I'm gonna close the project in audio and here we have Dhangro at, at, uh, in the same date it's 1833 uh, and pattern Dhangro 2 pattern A1 yeah so we'll select patterns pattern B there we go all the patterns are here we'll copy go to dangro samples paste here dangro one 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 four dangro one we have so I'll go ahead and dangro one pattern dangro one and I'll select them all and these are dangro two pattern now I'll put it into Tangro 2 and we have 82.1 MB file of our samples. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope uh, I was able to share some valuable information with you. If you liked this video, please click that like button and also subscribe. And I'll see you in next video. And now the moment to taste what was what came in here. So it's a, as he said, drink it without thinking. Oh, God damn it. Oh, my God. The salivary just is so damn bitter. My God.